Hey guys, it's Jay, and welcome to our Royal Caribbean Grandeur of the Seas Cruise Compass feature. These are the cruise compasses or the daily activity guides from our New England and Canada cruise in May 2018. I figured it would be fun to flip through day by day and look at some of the activity guides and other things that were going on around the ship. So we're starting off with the special Cruise Compass Boarding Day Edition, which we got in addition to our regular Cruise Compass. You can see this one just has planning and tips and things on the front side, talks about the sail away party. The back side has a nice sideways uh, deck map of the ship, so just in case it starts sinking with the bow in the air, you can see how to navigate, as well as some dining options, bars, and things like that. Moving on to our official day one cruise compass. Now the cruise compass is about four pages long and this is just the two main pages. This is the one that shows the open hours for various things around the ship and a little overview daily planner. And then the back side of the cruise compass is typically your activity guide for the day. A few things that caught our interest on this day, of course, are the muster drill, which is mandatory, don't skip it. The let's get loud sail away party. And of course the evening show is the welcome aboard showtime. Moving on to our day two, which was a day at sea. You can see the open hours for various things around the ship again, and your food options. Drink of the day down there as well. The activity guide, again, a little more packed because it was a sea day. So we have fun things like the morning show, a Tortuga special event in the liquor shop, the world's sexiest man competition, love and marriage game show, the captain's welcome aboard reception because this was formal night, some game shows and movies and things like that to close out the evening. Day three, we were in Boston, Massachusetts, and here are the open times and dining schedules for that day. And drink of the day and all that good stuff. For the activity guide, you can see fewer activities because we were in a port, but you've always got your daily dose of trivia. There was a port shopping show that morning, a Caribbean line dancing class, some movies on the big screen. We had a production show that evening. I think we had the Broadway show that night. Portland, Maine was our day four stop, and you can see the open times and menu foodie foodie things again. Drink of the day and all that good stuff. This was Mother's Day, so they've got a Mother's Day special down there. And the activity guide, a little more packed than the day before, it seems. You've always got yoga and stretching and things like that in the morning, it seems. Trivia, of course, got to get all those highlighters and carabiners. They did have a fly-on entertainer that night in the theater, and there's rock a -roky, which is where you sing karaoke with the band in the main lobby. Day 5 had us in Bar Harbor, Maine, or Bahaba, Maine. There are your opening times and food options for that day. The drink of the day is the woo-woo. Activity guide again, a little bit of information about the tendering into Bar Harbor. A lot of trivia, that tends to be if you don't end up going into a port and you stay on the ship, trivia seems to be the thing that's going on. The Seasons Floor Show in the main lobby, we never did have any aerial acts on our cruise. Day 6 was St. John, New Brunswick. And here again are your times for everything and your drink information. The activity guide again, just chock full of port day activities, all the stretching, all the trivia. We got some gaming lessons and charades going on, big screen movie, disco trivia, rock a -roky again, game shows back in the South Pacific Lounge, and 70s disco night. Halifax, Nova Scotia was our day seven. Here are your times for that day. And rank information. Another port day schedule chock full of port shopping information, morning shows, trivias, big screen movie, Pitch Perfect 3, production showtime, that was the second actual singer and dancer show, which I think was called All Access, rock a -roky some more, and then it was 50s and 60s night in the lobby. Day 8 was our first full day at sea, back, heading back down south again. Here are all of your times and pertinent information. The activity schedule a little more packed than on the port days. All sorts of sales in the shops, mimosa happy hour, $3 blackjack tables, arts and crafts scrapbooking, Zumba dance class, the family feud game show in the main lounge, battle of the sexes and quest back in the South Pacific lounge. 
Day nine was our last full day on the ship. Here are all of your hours and information and all of that. And of course, your standard array of activities, morning shows, trivia, spas, drink specials, casino activities, cha-cha dance class. This was the day we had the Grandeur Fair, which was uh, all of the little sort of, I'll call them carnival games that they had set up in the lobby. And we had the Farewell Showtime. We have one more sheet in here, which was our debarkation sheet. Just kind of gives you an overview of the process and what you can expect on debarkation or disembarkation day. I never know which one of those two words is technically correct. Or maybe they both are. Or maybe neither. And then the back of that sheet was pretty much a timeline of who gets off the ship when. I thought it was interesting to put in here anyway. Probably doesn't mean much to anybody, but you can kind of see the time frames as to how the debarkation day works. And that is it for this Cruise Compass feature video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this was at least a little bit helpful. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you haven't watched our cruise vlog series on the grandeur, you can find that on our channel as well. And until next time, rock on!